Hi everyone, Kevin here. Today I wanna to show you how you can cast from your phone to your PC. First off, what does it mean to cast? Well, whatever you see on your phone screen, whether it's a browser window, whether it's an app, whether you're looking at photos or videos or even playing a game, you can have that appear on your PC screen. It doesn't matter what type of phone you have, you could be on an iPhone, an Android, and it also doesn't matter what type of PC you have, whether it's Windows, Mac, or Linux, whatever combination you have, this will work. And I created this video based on popular demand. Many of you have asked me how I include my phone in my videos, and today I'm gonna to show you how I do it. Now, for this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through the Let's View app. I've evaluated many different screencast apps, and I've landed on this as being the best one. Why do I like it so much? Well, first off, it works across all of these different platforms. Second, it's free. It won't cost you anything to use. I always love that about apps. Third, the quality is very high. And the fourth, it has some awesome features that I'm gonna walk you through today to show you what you can do with this app. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and let's start off with how you get this. Here I am on my PC, and first off, I wanna show you how you can get the Let's View app on your PC. Open up a web browser and then head to the website letsview.com. Once you land on the website, let's click on download. Once you click on download, you'll see it download in EXE. Click on that and then go through the installation process. Next, I wanna show you how you can get the Let's View app on your phone. Now that we've gotten the Let's View app on our PC, let's go ahead and get it on our phone. Today, I'm on an iPhone, but once again, this'll work whether you're on an iPhone or on an Android phone. On an iPhone, first off, let's click into the App Store. If you're on an Android phone, click on the Play Store. Once you open up the App Store or the Play Store, search for Let's View. Once you search for Let's View, you should see the top result is for the Let's View app. If you haven't installed it yet, click on the Install button. Once you've installed it, go ahead and click on Open. I've already installed it, so I'm just gonna click on Open. Now that we've installed the app on both our PC and on our mobile phone, how do we connect the two of them? Let's start off with the desktop first, and here you should see both my desktop and my phone side by side. On my desktop, I included an icon for Let's View. If you don't have it on your desktop, go ahead and search for Let's View. I'm gonna click on the app. If you find that you're gonna be using this often, you could always pin it to your taskbar. Simply right click on it on the taskbar and then select pin to taskbar. This opens up the app on my desktop. Next, I wanna open up the app on my mobile phone. I'm gonna to go to the Let's View app and then click on that. I now have apps open in both places and one thing to call out is you need to ensure that both your PC that you're casting to and your phone are on the same wireless network. If not, this won't work. Within the mobile app, I see an area that says connection and to the right of it, there's a red button that says redetect. I'm gonna click on that to see if I could detect any devices that I can cast to. And there you see an option pops up called Let's View Kevin. Let's click on that. Next, I have two different options that I can choose from. I could either do phone screen mirroring. This is where my phone screen will be mirrored over to my computer screen, or I could do the inverse where I do computer screen mirroring. What that means is my computer screen will show up on my phone display, and I'll show in a moment what that does, but let's start out with phone screen mirroring. Once I click on phone screen mirroring, I see some instructions on how I can set the mirroring up, and we're gonna use mirroring that comes native with the iPhone. If you're on an Android phone, follow the instructions that you see there. On the latest version of the iPhone, I'm gonna drag down from the top right-hand corner to get my controls, and I'm gonna click on screen mirroring. Once I click on screen mirroring, I see an option for Let's View. I'm gonna click on that. And check that out. That now mirrors my phone to my PC. I'm gonna go back to the home screen here. And here you see, as I move my finger on the phone, it all gets captured on my PC screen. I have my mirroring up and the quality might not look that crisp. In a moment, I'll show you how you can adjust this so you get the best quality image on your display. But before we jump into that, I wanna show some of the functionality that you have here. Up here, I can add a brush. So not only do I mirror my image onto my PC, I can also annotate the image. So I've clicked on that and now I have a pen tool. So here I could draw on my app. I could say, hey class, let's make sure we click into reminders 
layers and add the assignments. And here, if I jump on the screen, it basically produces an overlay on the image. I can go in here and I could adjust the color, I could undo changes that I've made, and I could also remove all of the annotations on the screen, and then I can exit. Back on the main screen, not only can I annotate my screen, I can also record my screen. When I click on this record button, any movements that I make on my phone are now being recorded. When I click on stop, it'll tell me that the recording finished, and I can now open a folder, and it'll show me my recordings. Let's take a quick look. There it looks like it captured all of my movements on my phone. Back on the app, I also wanna show this hamburger menu that appears on the top. When I click on this, this exposes a bunch of additional settings. For instance, I could switch my view to full screen if I want everyone's attention just to be on my phone. Back within the settings, menu, I can also set it so the app always appears on top. For instance, if I click on this app, it'll appear over it. However, if I set it to always on top, even if I click on another app, my phone screen will continue to appear on the topmost layer on my Windows desktop. Once again, within settings, I also have the option to take a screenshot and then I could rotate the image as well. So I have lots of rich functionality in terms of how I want to see my phone on my desktop. I mentioned earlier that the image that appears on the screen here is not incredibly sharp. I wanna show you how you can adjust that. If we go back to the app on our desktop, you'll see a settings menu that appears right here. Let's click on that and then click on settings. Within the settings menu, you can set all sorts of things, like whether you want the app to start on startup, you could adjust the language, but the one that we're interested in is the AirPlay resolution. Now by default, it's set to 720p, and this is the lowest resolution. I've found that this resolution tends to work pretty well for videos or gameplay or any type of thing where your display on the phone is changing rapidly and you want it to be reflected very quickly on your PC. If you're gonna be looking looking at other things, say pictures or documents, where you don't need the image to refresh that quickly, you can adjust it to the highest resolution. I'm gonna adjust it to the highest resolution, and now it's gonna reconnect the phone to the PC. Now I've reconnected my phone to my PC, and look how sharp and crisp that looks. It's a full fidelity image from my phone now appearing on my desktop. I wanna also show what it looks like when we play a video, just so you can see what that experience looks like. I'm gonna click into photos and choose a video. Now here's a recent video where my wife, son, and I went to a waterfall. Now this is playing at the best possible quality, and you can see that the image is casting to the screen pretty smoothly. If I want it to be even smoother, I could decrease the resolution and the image quality should be even smoother. And let's test that out. Now I'm on the lowest resolution and you can see that the video quality is pretty smooth. Now the amazing thing is I'm sending this video from my phone over Wi-Fi onto my PC, including sound, and the quality is pretty phenomenal for all of that. The one thing I really love about the Let's View app is not only does it let you mirror your phone to your PC, but it also allows you to do the inverse. Here on my phone screen, I wanna go with the second option now where I can show my computer screen on my phone. I'm gonna select the second option. Here on my desktop, it asks me to allow me to receive my computer screen. I'm gonna click on Allow. You can now see my phone on the side and it's showing me exactly what my desktop looks like. As I move my finger on the phone, it moves my mouse on the desktop. So in a sense, I can control my desktop from my phone. And not only can I control my desktop, if I click over on this arrow icon on the top right hand side of my phone, I can annotate my desktop. So I clicked on the annotation tool. I could choose a color here and let me go with white. And now I can draw on my screen Screen from my phone. So you could think, let's say you're doing a lecture, maybe you're on a Google Meet or a Microsoft Teams meeting, you can use your phone as an annotation tool on your PC screen. If I click this power button in the bottom right hand corner, that'll remove all my annotations. I could also bring up a keyboard if I want to type. This in a sense gives me full control of my PC. Lastly, I wanna show you how you can use your screen mirror in an app like OBS. 
What does OBS do? Well, it allows you to record your screen. It also allows you to stream from your desktop. It's by far one of the most powerful screen recorders and streaming apps. If you're interested in how to get started using OBS, I have a link to a video in the description which will show you how to get started. Within OBS, one of the things I can do is select the Let's View window as one of the sources. I'm gonna click on the plus button under sources and I'm gonna go and select window capture. Next, I'll click on OK. Now I can select the window that I wanna capture. I have all my different windows that are open. I'm gonna select the one that says Let's View and here I can see my phone display. Next, I'm gonna click on OK. Once I click on OK, you'll now see my phone display within OBS and I can adjust it so it matches the dimensions of my phone display. I'm gonna right click on the window and then go to resize output. Now I've resized the output. One thing though is I have this bar on top of the app. If I wanna cut that out, I'm gonna right click on the source, go to filters and I'm gonna add a filter for crop. I wanna crop out the top 40 or so pixels and that should remove the bar on top, maybe a little bit more, let's try 60. Once I enter the amount to crop, I'm gonna click on close. Here now, you'll see my app appears and I no longer have the bar on top. Once again, I'm gonna right click on the window and let me resize the output to match the input output. And here now within OBS, you see that I can do a very clean job capturing my phone. In fact, I could even add my desktop next to it or I could add my video next to it. So this way I'm capturing my mobile display along with whatever other content I wanna show with this. All right, well, that was a quick look at how you can screencast your phone to your PC using the Let's View app. The really cool thing about the Let's View app is it also lets you cast your PC screen to your phone screen and you have lots of rich functionality and different annotation tools that you can take advantage of. And best of all, the app is entirely free. If this video helped you learn how to cast your phone to your PC, please give this video a thumbs up. As always, if you wanna see more videos like this in the future, make sure you click on the subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, I build my list of videos to create based on feedback from viewers like you. If you wanna see any other videos, leave a comment down below and I'll add it to my list. All right, well, that's all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.